Good morning, dear Let's begin our day as always. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So June 21st is National Indigenous Peoples Day. And as you know, recently the remains of 215 children were found at the site of a residential school in Kamloops. On July 1st at 2.15, we as a nation will pause for two minutes and 15 seconds to remember the remains of the 215 children. And to remember that we have a lot of work to do. Truth and reconciliation. First, we start with recognizing the truth of our awful history. I hope this is a time of awakening and action in Canada and in my church. Indigenous leaders will meet with Pope Francis in November. We imposed our beliefs with incredible arrogance. Today, we realize we have much to learn from Indigenous people. This prayer that I'm going to pray right now, written by Chief Yellowhawk, is a good example of two things that we could learn. Reverence for nature, which just goes through all of their spirituality, and great humility. Let us pray. O great spirit, whose voice I hear in the winds, and whose breath gives life to all the world, hear me. I come before you as one of your children. I am small and weak. I need your strength and wisdom. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. Make my hands respect the things you have made, my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise so that I may know the things you have taught my people, the lessons you have hidden in every leaf and rock. I seek strength not to be superior to my brothers, but to be able to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Make me ever ready to come to you with clean hands and straight eyes so that when life fades as a fading sunset, my spirit may come to you without shame. Amen. May God bless us all today with this humility and respect for nature. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Margaret Deville, pray for us.